Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the new password app on iOS 18. So once you upgrade or install the new iOS 18 update on your phone, you'll see a new app called Passwords, which is an app that allows you to easily save and fill password autofill. It's a secure encryption for automatic protection and seamless integration and syncing. As it shows here, we'll hit continue. And then if you want to use this feature, you'll have to click on turn on autofill. If you don't have it on, we're going to click on turn on. And then notification, if you would like to get that, you hit continue. And then it will send you notification. And now we can go ahead and see all the passwords. We can store it from the previous setting, which was in the setting itself. Now it's part to this app. You can also go into your settings. It used to be where you had the setting for a password now it's been moved on to the app here and what will happen is it will use your face ID to verify uh, your uh, passwords here and you can lock it and then you can see all the passwords here. you can click on it and then for each of the account you can see one if you want to update one you can click one right and then you can go ahead and edit to update it or change it from here or you can if you add a new website that you want to put your username and password you can do that as well and click on save here and there's also another feature about security password that might be compromised that you might consider changing it's a security option here that you can see which account right and the and the password that you can change by clicking on here it'll take you to the website to change it as well things like even your Wi-Fi password are going to be listed here so you can know which Wi-Fi you connected to so that's how you can uh, check basically how, uh, using uh, the password app and how you can use it to store and update your password and save them. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks on your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.